Hello, Ring Worlders. In this video, I want to show you how to uh, download, install, and set up Ring P Mod Manager to uh, download mods from Steam Workshop in situation when you do not have a Steam version of the game. First of all, you need to go to Steam Workshop and find Ring P Mod Manager database. It will contain download link for the program itself need to download it yes it takes some time okay open We need to unpack the content of the package anywhere you want, but make sure that you have enough space on the drive because Ring P um, size is approximately 300 megabytes. I will extract it to desktop next to RimWorld folder. Okay, close. Then we need to, uh, also make sure to run RimWorld at least once before running RIMP, uh, that's needed because game will create a config folder then we run a RIMP executable file ok, we need to set up game folder uh, click on the three dots button next to game folder button I choose where is the RIMWORLD folder is it's the folder where is the RIMWORLD executable located also, if you didn't set up config folder, you need to click on three dots button and choose where is the config folder. In most cases, it is on your C drive, uh, users, find your username, app data, local low, Lulion, remote, config. So it's a folder where is the mods config XML file located. Now we set up everything right. We need to let's go to the dark sim mode. Uh, we need to set up Steam CMD. If you already have installed Steam CMD, you may choose that folder. Otherwise, you need to create new one. Let's do this on desktop, for example. But you may do that where you want. But make sure not to move this folder because otherwise you will need to set up uh, Steam CMD one more time. To we'll create new folder. Uh, let's name it Steam CMD. Choose it. It will download. It asks you to download Steam CMD and install it into the folder. It will do it automatically. Yes. Okay. Also, we need to create a sim link from our Steam CMD folder to our local mods folder. So mods will be downloaded directly into our local mods folder. Make sure that RimWorld folder and SteamCMD folder are located on the drives that uh, have NTFS file system. That's very important because only NTFS file system supports sim linking. Yes, uh, SteamCMD executable and symbolic link exists. Setup is right. Everything is set up. And now you may download your mods, any mods you want, for example. Let's download alpha ships. Uh, add. You may use this button to add more to the list or this one. It doesn't matter. Rim Hell. Oh, let's choose these two mods. Okay. And when you are done, you press download button. First uh, time it will update the Steam CMD executable file. And then the download process of your mods will start. It connects up to the Steam Workshop anonymously. And start to download in the selected mods. Mm. 
Let's check. We have alpha ships and green pale here. Let's open them. And then you may use it, activate if you want to do whatever you want. Also, with the ring, you may download collections. Let's try with one of them. Collections. Let's choose, um, I don't know. Mm. This one maybe. 24 months on. It's fine. Okay. Uh, one important thing about downloading process. Uh, later, if you will want to update mods, you will need to get information about when mod was uploaded or modified on Steam Workshop. If you click on any mod, you may see that on mod page this information is given here. But on mod collection, there is no such information. Rimpy may get this information automatically but that will take some time if you do not want to update mods later or you want to update them later but not now and you want to download more mods as fast as possible you may click here empty date stamps so it will create empty date stamp, date stamp files and will not check the date of mod on mod pages you click then add mod collection it will warn you that date stamping is not enabled and add mods to the list. Then you may click download button and start the downloading process. Uh, let's download two mods, for example. Remove select mods, download. These mods will be downloaded and empty date stamp files, files will be created. Okay, next time when you click check for updates, you will see that the graph last modified is empty for this mod. So if you want to update it, Rimpy will need to re-download this mod. Select them, check for updates. And the data retrieved, click update. Now you may see that these two mods have last modified data and later you may click on uh, select all, check for updates. And you may see that data in on in last modified field and new version is the same, so it will not download mods. If you will have some mods to download, it will automatically check needed mods. Then you click update button and it will redownload this mod from Steam Workshop. Also, there may be situation if you install Rimpy uh, later and you already have mods in your local mods folder. And if you want to update them with Rimpy updater, you will need to um, convert them in the appropriate format. I will show you how to do this. For example, we will take one mod, delete ten, uh, date stamp file. Uh, also, we may open folder and rename it to something else. Let's populate our mods. Okay, it's still here, but mod folder is different and it do not contain date stamp file. You'll need to go to downloader, right click on check for mod updates, click on convert mod dialog. dialog. As you can see, it automatically uh, found the um, appropriate Steam ID, but for example, it will be other. We'll copy it, something like this. That's not right. If you double click on the link, you may see that. Uh, this mod is not on Steam Workshop. So we need to set up right Steam ID in this cell. Okay. Double click on the link. 
won here, man. So everything is right. We check won here, man. Click on. Oh, let's let, let I will show you how to find out if you have this mod. You may click check for updates, and you can see unsupported mods needs conversion. And here is the mods that need this. Let's continue converting our mods. Uh, set up everything right. One here, man. Mod convert. It will rename a mod folder to the appropriate Steam ID that you have chosen here. Also, it will create a, an empty data temp file for it. Yes. Then need to check for updates. Mm, let's select all. Check for updates. As you can see here, last modified uh, field is also empty and it auto checks it so we just press update and it will download it that mod one more time so you will know that it's up to date also it will create a date stamp file that contains data check for updates as you can see here this mod is up to date No, so that's all. Sorry for my bad English and thank you.